Travelling in a classic car is a huge adventure. Who knows if it's going to make it? They need constant care and attention, especially when you're off the beaten track or parked in a metre of water. How do you get back on the road again? We've asked Land Rover Guru Rob to shine a light on the subject and help us understand the technical side of maintenance and repair. Is this a problem, this curly stuff? Is this a problem, this curly stuff? Um... <laughs> That's the low mark mm -hmm. down here. And this is normal, okay. and this is high. So it should be a and, bit more. And, 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 and above there mm -hmm. is danger. Okay. Now, well, uh, what happens with danger? Well, basically, you've overfilled it with oil. Now, in an extreme circumstance, what actually happens is that the oil is forced up, and it will go into the cylinders. And because this is a diesel engine, mm -hmm. then the oil will act as a fuel and the engine will start to burn the oil and combust. it yeah and, and basically it will carry on going and it ends up as a runaway okay mm. so that the engine feeds off its own oil okay? and you can't stop it because there is no spark it you know it's purely the compression there's no fuel pump either there's no fuel pump there's a, so, so basically it just feeds off its own oil and keeps on going until something internally lets go. Now, you know, on, on some of the engines, um, if the oil feed pipe that goes to the turbo, if the turbo decides that the bearing, because this is the main oil feed pipe into the turbo, the bearing that's in there that this is fed by, if that then goes, then you get oil being pumped up to here into the air intake, okay, it then immediately um, gets passed through in the, per in the burning process, okay, that comes from there, goes through the intercooler, into the inlet manifold, back under there, goes into the piston, into the chambers, is burned, okay, mm -hmm. the engine starts feeding off itself, and there is no way of shutting it off, well actually there is, because you stop the air supply, mm -hmm. but you haven't got that much time, okay. so, you know. But so what's the, the best uh, thing to do, just... Turn the well, it doesn't make any difference yeah. because yeah. There's, there's no yeah. electronic, no process whatsoever. Yeah. There, there is no way of stopping it. You said there is, but you don't yeah, have time. Yeah, but you don't have time to. You, you would have to. This. You'd have to jump out, yeah. undo that clip, stick something over the top to yeah. stop the air getting in, yeah. and by that stage, the yeah. engines let go anyway. Then, uh, 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 what would you see if that happened? Um, worst case scenario is that you would see parts of the engine coming out the side. Actually, you wouldn't. So it, 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 becomes a, it becomes a catastrophic thing. Yeah. You wouldn't. You'd be running for cover. So you, wouldn't <laughs> uh, you can actually use it to put tyres onto wheels. Yeah? Yeah. Uh. Huh? Okay, you've got a tyre. Mm -hmm. and, and it doesn't exactly fit on the rim. Mm -hmm. So and 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 when you try and inflate it, it then the tyre yeah. doesn't go onto the rim yeah. properly. Okay. okay. And normally if you put enough air into yeah. the tyre then it, pops, it yes. will. Yeah. yeah, okay. Well occasionally mm. this doesn't happen. Okay. Okay. And what you are not supposed to do yeah. is you take a can of this stuff, yeah. um, you spray round the wheel. Yeah. Okay. And the rubber and side. between mm -hmm. the, the metal mm -hmm. rim mm -hmm. and the, the tire mm -hmm. and you ignite it. <laughs> And, and it, it does it work, expand. and it causes everything to expand very, very rapidly and seals the tyre onto the okay. rim. Don't try this at home, children. But it is really cool and fun. <laughs> That's one of those things you try after a bottle of whiskey. And if you, <laughs> Make if sure you, you're if not you, too close to this, you blow yes. up yourself. <laughs> what I wouldn't recommend is that you empty the entire can of brake cleaner into it. Okay. That has other interesting consequences, and the tyre actually lifts from the floor. Wow! Okay. Uh, 200 TDI is 1540. Okay, we've got 2050 here. Yeah. Because... We have an older 200 TDI. Okay. And a 2050 
is slightly thicker and provides better lubrication at higher temperatures. Okay. Um, and basically the mm, here in the Netherlands we don't actually have temperatures that warrant a thinner oil. So for older vehicles then I'm quite an advocate of quite an advocate of uh, good old 2050. Um, it leaks out slower if you want to know the truth. <laughs> but I've, I've used 2050 in, in a lot of the older engines. Um, yeah, when you get to 300 TDI then okay 15, 40 um, and again TD5. But, uh, and the new vehicles use 5W30. Uh, but we're still dealing with intrinsically uh, an engine that the, the tolerances on the internals of the engine are such that you can see the gaps from space. Um, whereas these days it's, you know, so here we have full fat molecules filling big gaps and, you know, on the modern vehicles we have diet oil for the... You know. <laughs> diet machine. Yeah. Is there a gap here? No, it's so yeah. completely off subject. <laughs> You've got the two, you've got the flange from you, you've got basically you've got the downpipe and then you've got the, the rear pipe. Yeah. Okay. Um, yours is a modified downpipe with a modified tailpipe, okay, which gives that distinctive note that Muddy has. Okay. So but basically between here and here you've yeah. got a flange. So rubber. one part fits yeah. into one part fits into the other part mm -hmm. and these collars basically just tighten it up so okay. you know. that doesn't matter. No, 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 because actually that's not the seal. The seal is in on the, on the okay. two pipes themselves. Okay. Cool. Yeah? So I can uh, start the cleaning. Yeah. Yes. Basically, once we've got the stick of it off, mm -hmm. which is almost there now. Yeah. Then we're uh, done. Do you want to know why your engine's green, by the way? It's a military engine. Correct. <laughs> used to be fitted to a 24 volt vehicle as well. Okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> um, it was actually fitted to a 24 volt fitted for radio vehicle as well. Okay. How do you know that? <laughs> um, mainly because of the alternator bracket on the uh, top mount on the right hand side of the engine. Okay. So, and you've got the, the front crankshaft pulley. You have basically space here for two belts, well three belts. You have your power steering one. That's the belt that drives your fan, but this one over here would have gone that way and driven okay. the alternator, uh, and the it's the, the, the big alternator for the uh, radio equipment in the back. Wow. So cool. so. And yes, it's duck egg blue is the colour. Right. It's not green. It's not green, it's duck egg <laughs> blue. <laughs>